prayer. You know, I observed the disciples of Jesus. And that is why I wrote the book on touching heaven through prayer. I observed the disciples of Jesus. They saw Jesus walk on water. They saw Jesus multiply food. They saw Jesus raise the dead. They saw Jesus cleanse leprosy with the touch. They saw Jesus open the fears. After they had seen all these things, Jesus walking on water. They did not say, Jesus, teach us how to do any of these things. But they say, teach us how to pray. And I began to wonder why. And I realized it is because for three years, the disciples observed the lifestyle of Jesus. And they discovered his lifestyle was a lifestyle of prayer. My God, there is power in prayer. I want you to know prayer is fellowship with God. Prayer is communion with God. Prayer is the meeting point between divinity and humanity. And if there is a man or a woman to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a woman to pray, there is a God to answer. I release the spirit of prayer. I release the spirit of intercession. In the name of Jesus, I believe that victories are won on the knees. I came to challenge somebody if you want to change your destiny. If you want to change the course of your life, begin to communicate with God. That is why the Bible says, seek here first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added. Receive the spirit of prayer. Receive the mantle of intercession. In the name of Jesus, this is the month to pray like never before. We are going to pray as miracle Monday until something happens. Pray until something happens. I know you've been praying and it seems like nothing is working and nothing is moving. But we are not giving up. The Bible says from the days of John the Baptist until now, the days of Lucy Natasha. The kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent will take it by force. There is power in prayer. A prayerful man is a powerful man. A prayerful woman is a powerful woman. A prayerful youth is a powerful youth. A prayerful preacher is a powerful preacher. You can preach and perish, but you cannot pray and perish. Hey, my God, I don't know who I came for, but this month of June, we are going to ask God to intervene in our affairs through prayer. I see God intervening in your life. Somebody say, I receive 